We're asked to compute the probability of drawing two aces from a standard deck of 52 cards. And we'll take a look at two ways of determining this probability. One way is to indicate the probability as the probability of two aces. And we know the probability of an event is equal to the favorable number of outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes. In our case, the favorable number of outcomes is equal to the number of ways we can select two aces from the aces in the deck. And since there are four aces in the deck, and the order doesn't matter, the number of ways of selecting two aces from four aces is four choose two. So four choose two is the favorable number of outcomes, and the total number of outcomes is equal to the number of ways of selecting two cards from a deck of 52 cards, which is 52 choose two. And now to determine this probability, using the graphing calculator. And let's go ahead and put parentheses around the numerator and denominator. So we have open parenthesis, four, and then to select combination, we press math, right arrow to probability, and then press three for the combination. We enter R, which is two, right arrow, close parenthesis, divided by open parenthesis, 52, choose, two, right arrow, close parenthesis, and enter. To four decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.0045, which is a percentage is 0.45%. So this is one way to find the probability. Another way is to think of drawing two cards as drawing one card, and then without replacement, drawing a second card. So we can also state the probability as the probability of drawing an ace and then another ace without replacement. And because we don't have replacement, these two events are dependent, and therefore the probability of an ace and an ace is equal to the probability of drawing an ace times the probability of drawing an ace given an ace has already been drawn. The probability of drawing an ace is equal to four out of 52, which is four fifty seconds, or four divided by 52. And now we assume an ace has been drawn and it's not replaced. Let's just assume this is the ace that was drawn first. So now notice how there are only three favorable outcomes to draw another ace out of a total of now 51 cards, not 52 cards, again because this card is not replaced back into the deck. And therefore the probability of drawing an ace given an ace has already been drawn, is 351st or three divided by 51. So this product should also give us the same probability that we have above. Let's go to the calculator and verify. We have four divided by 52 times three divided by 51, enter, which does give us the same probability, which is a decimal is approximately 0.0045. which is equal to 0.45%. I hope you found this helpful.